Hello and welcome to Wake Up America. If you are tired of hearing the same exact stories on the news, there is a reason why. Back in the early 1980s, over 50 media corporations were the ones that decided what you read, watched, and listened to. That number is now down to six. These six corporations own far more than TV channels, and they are focused on one thing, profits. With this lack of competition, firms don't have to worry as much about the consumer because they don't face up as much competition. Up next, we have a story on the merging of two more major media companies and how it will impact all of us. Over the last few months, some of the few remaining media companies in America are consolidating. Comcast is buying Time Warner and AT&T is buying DirecTV. During a House hearing on the merger, representatives raised concerns about Comcast's post-merger ability to pick winners and losers in the cable and broadband business because of its influence over regional sports networks, several of which it owns, and over the internet, video companies whose offerings compete with Comcast television programming, such as Netflix and Hulu. In the end, however, several members expressed the view that although Congress has no direct authority over the merger, they expect that not enough documented antitrust problems exist to block the deal. It is unfortunate for Americans that these members of Congress feel that way, but it is good news for corporate interests who will find it even easier to control information flow. These mergers will continue to allow rich corporate interests and the government to exercise additional control over nearly everything that we see and hear. Instead of hearing more about the Trans-Pacific Partnership, a gigantic free trade deal that President Obama wants to place upon us, instead we hear about Justin Bieber, Miley Cyrus, Royal Babies, or the Kardashians. Why aren't we hearing about the TPP from the mainstream media? These large corporations want this deal, even though it will have major negative impacts on our society. The more power they can control, the more profits they can gain by focusing on what they want. If you have never heard of the TPP, that again is why. Whether or not it makes sense for these companies to merge is beside the point. We need a more competitive open market so that more Americans are made aware of all of the issues facing our country, not those that the wealthy 1% want to push on the rest of us. Consumers need more choices. Companies willing to tell hard truths to the American public must have a chance at success rather than be squashed out by the government policy and monopolies before they can even get started. We need to return to the days when news shows focused on matters of importance instead of fluff. Back to when journalists carry the stories we need to hear. The fewer media companies we have, the less real journalism we will see.